sin among Romans. Apostle Paul was very powerful servant of God and he preached repentance and to accept Jesus as the Lord. He was the chosen servant of God, exalting the name of the one and only one God. He expressed his grief on the behavior of those who did not glorify God and because they were not thankful to God. They rather consistently harbored their wild imaginations resulting in their perception being darkened. During the period when Paul preached among Romans, he observed that they chose to become fools by exalting themselves as wise by making the incorruptible and mighty God into an idol that appeared either as a bird, beast or creeping thing. Therefore God gave them up to their own desires of lusts and uncleanness that took root in their hearts. They preferred to dishonor their bodies among themselves, men giving up to the wild desires unto their fellow men, and women giving up to the wild desires unto the fellow women through the unnatural use of the body that is against the nature. Some of them not only committed those sins that were detestable, but took pleasure in committing them despite their knowledge that such sin brings death. Reference Romans chapter 1 verses 22 to 32. They bond with passion one for another of the same gender working among themselves against the way God has chosen it to be, resulting in grave error and debasement of their proclaimed knowledge. They longed to enhance their desires of unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, they were full of envy and were whispers, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents and covenant breakers. Therefore God gave them up to their own desires of lust and uncleanness. This is the reason why Paul says that he was not ashamed to proclaim the gospel of Christ. The gospel is power unto salvation for those who believe in it and foolishness for those who do not believe in it. Romans 1.18 says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Exercising faith in Jesus helps us to grow in Him, leaping from one step to another and building up oneself strong enough to face the attacks from the enemy. Troubles might come and God might chasten, yet it gives the child of God opportunity to grow continually in Him. There is every opportunity to fall away from the truth of the knowledge of the living God because Satan is very cunning and ever active to misguide and mislead not only those who do not believe in Jesus but also those who believe in him. Satan is very active among the believers rather than the unbelievers. Sometimes Satan comes as a roaring lion and sometimes like one that is transformed into an angel of light. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 says, And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Are you resisting the will of God and the call of God continually? If so, God might hand you over to the wiles of the desires and de devilish, devilish acts and to your sinful desires. But if you repent of your sins and uh, accept Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, there is everlasting life waiting for you. Our bodies are temples of God and Spirit of God dwells in us. If anyone defiles the temple of God, it is tantamount to involving God in our defilement of the body. God never takes part in our falling, but rather He helps us with chastisement to recover from the falling away from the truth. If still we follow our own ways, then God would hand over 
us to the wiles of our evil desires and allow us to reap the consequences in the body, perhaps in the form of serious diseases. Salvation is secure unless one goes to the extent of trampling the blood of Lord Jesus Christ under his or her foot. Compare 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 16 to 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. However, those who are saved by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ will always be in his fold, never venturing to commit sins. His blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness. The Lord says, my Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. John chapter 10 verse 29. This message is written and brought to you by Leslie John.